<laughs> it turned out that dear, 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 something is not right. Something is crying. Get out! No. <laughs> get out! If I get out, I will kill you with this funky purple dude who keeps conveniently giving me everything I want. Soda, RC car, gun. Okay, not doing that one again. That was a little stupid. Get out! All right, that's it. Yay! You're a good job, Abdul. What a bother. Okay, so your funky purple dude is what is known as a stand, and they are the physical manifestations of the fighting spirit and all have weirdly specific special and or situational abilities. So, only stand users can see other stands. Except for when they don't. Only stands can harm other stands. Except for when they don't. And all damage done to a stand will reflect the user. Except for when they don't. You need to pay attention to remember these new rules because nothing will make sense from now on otherwise. Cool. Muhammad Abdul's magician's red shoots fire. My stand is hermit purple and my ability activates when I punch a camera. <laughs> How did you figure that one out? Trial and error. Joseph Jostar's hermit purple. Punch a camera, see a naked man. Yeah, he is. It's Dio. He was about to take over the world, but then my grandfather, Jonathan Joestar, killed him, except he actually didn't because Dio stole Jonathan's body, and I can tell because he's got the star birthmark everybody in the Joestar lineage definitely always had, including me, you, my daughter, Holly, and you, my grandson, Jotaro. Wow, well, I, I somehow, somehow never, never noticed. noticed. It is your destiny to defeat Dio and mine. It is both our destinies, not yours, to defeat Dio when he will be beaten and... Oh my god, I don't care. I, Kakuin Vin, sent here by Dio to defeat... Oh great, is this what we're doing then? <laughs> Nariaki Kakuin's Hierophant Cream. I guess he possesses a buddy that one time, but he mostly just shoots rocks. Okay, so I guess since we're all doing tarot cards for stand names, I'll accept myself as one who passes judgment on others. Thus, I shall name my you stand... You get this one! Star Platinum! Uh, Star Platinum it is, then. Jotaro Kujo, Star Platinum. Punchy boy. Look, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I was being possessed by this dear forehead squid. Would you mind if I became a main character? Whatever. Oh no! Holly's developing a stand, but it's killing her! Oh, well, coughing! The head rush takey swoon! Hey. Holly Kujo's, who cares? I can't possibly explain this without sounding sexist. Not that this will make any sense in the Great Academy, but we need to save her by getting rid of her stand, and we do that by killing Dio! Probably. I can feel it. It's in my blood or whatever. As the old adage goes, he cannot be beaten up unless I am standing next to him. Unless, unless I am close to him. Okay, bad read. Don't worry. I'll think up something more clever. They found it. It's the fly. It's the fly. Let's go to Egypt. Yes. I have used my own camera punching ability and discovered they are on a plane going in my direction. Good thing I already put a saboteur on that plane, which I guess means I knew in advance they were going to go on that plane, meaning I didn't mean to punch this expensive camera. What a waste of money. I will now proceed to never use this ability again and have sex with at least four people. It's the fly. It's the fly. I hope it doesn't say massacre on the wall. Oh. Great flies, Tower of Great. Not actually a fly. <laughs> this was a huge waste of time, and we almost killed like 70 people. This is all your fault. I'm never going on a plane. Again. Hey, break it up, you two. <gasps> Check this out. Jean-Pierre Polner F. Silver Chariot. He has a sword. Also, he can take off his armor. It makes him, like, faster. Uh, also, he can shoot a sword, but only once. Look, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but... Yeah, yeah, forehead squid. Got it. I anticipate we'll either have a team of 30 by the end of this trek, or we just so happen to coincidentally stop seeing forehead squids from this point forward. Hey, we'll follow you to Egypt to go find the man with six fingers. Uh, I mean, the man with two right hands, because he killed my father. I mean, my younger sister. Hey, check this flashback out. I'm gonna convince you using his forehead squid to go beat up the Joe Stars in a year, I guess, because this flashback scene is from a year ago, which is a little confusing. Anyways, look at this crystal ball. It shows a vision of the two right-hand men. Ha, look how charismatic I am. I will now proceed to never use this ability again. Oh, look, it's 10 o'clock. Fetch my tank top. I have a date. The plane didn't work, so now they're taking a boat. Oh, no. The boat didn't work. Jotaro's in the water. Imposter Captain Tanil's dark blue moon. He's in the water. Well, I can't believe you pointed at him so hard he exploded. Natural talent. Forever's strength. Yes, the orangutan is the user. Yes, the orangutan has a name. Yes, the boat is the stand. Oh, my God, the boat is the stand. No, thanks. How annoying. What an exhausting trek. Please exit. My fridge. You found me. <laughs> now you've activated my. <laughs> Devo's Ebony Devil. No, no, I mean, he gets stabbed right and he gets angry and the anger makes him possess the doll. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who Wait, you mean the... you don't need to punch a camera to use your ability? Kakuin's gonna kill you. Oh. I, Kakuin, am gonna kill you. You're not Kakuin. I can't believe you saw through my room. <laughs> Goodness, I said. Rubber Soul's Yellow Temperance. Look, I know ending last episode with the Kakuin's a traitor cliffhanger was a bit of a fib, but it was cool for a second, right? Right? I've been attacked by the man with two right hands. I must go alone to fight for revenge. Or you could not. This is my battle to win! And it gets you. The enemy! Whole horse is empty. Done! Oh, jeez, whatever will I do? Oh. Uh, uh, Abdul's dead? I will have my revenge! My foolproof strategy will involve revealing myself to you and yelling at people. Hey, y'all! <laughs> Jay Giles hangs man, technically not a man in the mirror. Get my good side! Oh, dude! The next thing you will say is, chew me mean! Chewy Lane is Empress Angu. Road trip. Duel 1971. Vroom vroom. What? ZZ's Wheel of Fortune. Duel 1971. Vroom vroom. I'm exhausted again. Let's pit stop in the literal worst town ever. Hello. Welcome to the worst town ever. I am not evil. Don't mind the zombies. Nice lady. Nice lady, right? What a nice lady. <laughs> I have returned. No, you haven't. Correct. Hello, nice lady. <laughs> in Yaba's Justice. See where incorrect breathing gets you. Wow, I can't believe you breathed so hard she imploded. Natural talent. Interrogation begin. Well, I tried. And no, you cannot punch me. Oh! <gasps>
Are you kidding me? Yes, you heard, Joseph Joyster. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fuck. Steely dance lovers. So Jotaro is just left alone with someone he's not allowed to punch. I can only imagine this will go well. Not that this will make any sense in the greater canon, but we must enter Joseph's brain by becoming super small, which is something we could definitely always do in fighting the, en the enemy. The enemy stand. I shall provide a live feed and commentary, which is something I also definitely could always do. We found him. No, we haven't. Yes, we have. He's out. We did it. Uh oh. <laughs> Maybe if that's the sun. Lol. No. Lol. Lol. Man, Egypt sure is far away. Hey, something we actually agree on. I think that means... Wait, no, we're not. Maybe we could... No, we're not taking... Maybe we could fly. We're not taking a plane. Fly the rest of the way. GG! Oh. God damn it! It's all the baby's fault! Wait, no, it's not. Wait, well, yes, it is! Manish Boys, Death 13. Tally Herbert said wrong. Hey, look, it's Abdul! I'm not Abdul, I'm... Grey. Abdul. Wow. Have you watched Aladdin? That ain't out yet. Oh, uh, then this might take a hot minute to explain. Cameo's judgment. More dead. It is I, uh, Muhammad Abdul, and I'm alive again. Now when I'm winning, I do a little dance. That's my new thing. Wow, I like this new Abdul. Hey, guys, Abdul's alive. Yeah, duh. Hey, look, a method of transport we haven't been attacked in yet. What do you mean, yeah, duh? I can only see this going well. <laughs> Midler's high priestess. More minerals. The sea sucks. Nothing good ever happens in the sea. You cannot destroy the teeth. It is as hard as diamonds, and diamond is unbreakable. We've arrived in Egypt. We're also pretty much out of Tower Castle. It must be almost done. Definitely. Good work. That's it for today, team. Time to move out because I guess the International Character Speedwagon Foundation found out where I live somehow. Delivery. Look, it's our new dog friend, main character companion. He has three funny quirks. One, he chews hair. Two, he farts when chewing hair. Three, he eats coffee gum. What a funny, wacky character. Also, he's a stand user. Woof. Iggy's the fool. Morph sand. Car. Here I go. I'm gonna get you. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, Duels Gev. Attacked by water in the desert. Oh, what irony. I've got you now. Woof. You have been defeated. Now tell us who. Good grief. I may have destroyed my brain, but I'll first detail a bit of handy exposition for your consideration. Your next set of stand user villains, including me, are all based on the nine Egyptian gods, extending the series roughly an extra 20 episodes. Have fun fighting a bird and a sword, despite that flashback scene exclusively showing humanoid characters. Blech. Okay, so we need to defeat nine Egyptian gods. So you mean we need to defeat eight Egyptian gods? Yes, we need to defeat six Egyptian gods. Got it. Oops, 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 oops. oops. Wingo's canoe. More face. Wingo's top. Book that you read and nothing else. I will get you now that Polar F has the sword. That would be threatening if punching the sword wasn't an option. What do you mean punching the sword? <laughs> Anubis's Anubis. Evil sword. Yeah. Hello, Polar F shaped <laughs> child. <laughs> Alright, he's set. set. Shadow X child Polar F penis. You wouldn't believe what we just had to deal with. It was weirdly sexual. What? <laughs> New image. It's Dale's building. We must approach Dio to approach that building. Wait, no, uh, other way around. I know where that building is, but you must gamble with me. Daniel J. Darby's Osiris. Dilla, 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 dilla. You'll play the cat game. Will the cat go left or right? Right! Hey, cat, go left! Meow. You lost the cat game. <laughs> Play the drink game. Roll for precision. 20. Not good enough. Uh, what do you mean not good enough? Ah! Play the card game. Wow, I have the best cards and so good. What? I'm just the absolute best at this game. I can't be beat. <laughs> wow. Rhinoceros beetle, rhinoceros beetle. I have returned. No, you haven't. Correct. Rhinoceros beetle. Rhin Hello, child. Together we are invincible and we will defeat the oops. Oops. Today in Polar F teaches about foreign culture. Do not sit down. Tip your kettle over. Never drop your things. You are always paying too much. There is no such thing as a toilet. It is time for my episode. It is I, Bird. Kaka. Pet shops, Horace. Under pressure, but bad. We have located the Taj Mahal or whatever. Box troll, pal, egg. I hate this. Everything hurts. Also, I'm back and wearing a new pair of snazzy sunnies. You know, for protection. We must enter the building. Play my video games. <laughs> No, 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 no. Parents T. Darby's a tomb. No, there's a bear's bone. Bear's try, idiot. Well, it's been two seconds. Time to burn the whole building down. Wait, what if instead we went inside to look at the enemy? The enemy! Woof. Yeah! Oh, man. Kenny G's tennis sex. Eh, he's dead now, so whatever. They have approached my hiding hole here in the Taj Mahal or whatever. Prove your loyalty by chopping off your head. Ha, <laughs> cool. Meanwhile, in the Taj Mahal or whatever. Fuck! Oh, no! This couldn't get any worse. Ah! Oh, God! Vanilla ice is cream. A snake head eating a head on the opposite side. I found you! To beat me, you must approach me! Okay! The water's <laughs> <laughs> I'm very intimidating! Goodness gracious! Hey guys, so everybody's dead and Dio's confusing. Sucks, but sounds about right. We should attack him now! We should not! Good idea, let's do both. <laughs> Why were we never doing this before? Always worship on a star! I have an idea on how to learn Dio's ability. I will create this web, but good job, Capulet. <laughs> hey Jojo, Dio's ability is to stop so time! I win! Now I will- Oh, goddamn magic sunlight bullshit! Nyeh. 
<laughs> it's time for our final battle. I have to get closer before I can shit on you. Ah, damn it! Zawara's gone. Haha! -ha, you've been japed. It was different to what you were expecting. I bet you didn't see that one coming. Dears, the world, punchy boy. Oh, and. <laughs> We appear to be similar in strength and speed. I hope this doesn't translate into other similarities. That one was wrong. I'm gonna get you. It what the fuck? What was that? What was what? That thing you did. Lucy says what? What? <laughs> no, no. Oh, it was just a magnet, you little weenie. You. <laughs> I hate this and I hate you, Zawa. Oh, great. Is this what we're doing then, Zawa? Uh oh. Oh no, I've been cut. I'm definitely dead. Time to finish you off! Time to finish you off! Wait, are you dead? Yes. Okay then, I- <laughs> Give me a fucking break. Uh-oh. No, I'm super duper powered and full of Joe's blood, even though technically I was already full of Joe's blood. Look at me go, look at me go! Aren't I just the best? Don't think too hard about where I got this lipstick from. <laughs> oh no, here comes the Joe! Surprise, I can stop time for even more seconds now! Not that that wording makes any sense. No, Surprise, bitch! <laughs> and then Dio's head exploded. Hey, wake up! Are you alive again? Weird Al Yankovic canonically exists in the JoJo universe. Okay, he's back. I'm still alive too! Hurrah! Good talk! Bye! Call me! me wow. Hey, remember when the story was about vampires? Me neither. Anyway, so Dio's body melts in the sunlight. Okay, so we may or may not have lost half our crew and killed countless bystanders, but at least Dio's dead! Definitely. Definitely. Definitely? Re really? No. Okay, well, uh, time to go see my wife, who I have a healthy monogamous relationship with- Oh, oh, wait. Yada yada, dog. Look like an Egyptian. Look, they stopped using roundabout by this point in the show, so I thought, I thought maybe, like, I should-